place makes James Avery jewelry. You know your pretty necklace? Yeah. This is the place that makes it. This is the James Avery factory. They were gracious enough to let us park Bonnie right there. <laughs> and um, we even talked to security. He said, we are fine, not in the way. Asked us how we liked our GeoPro. So step number one is to sketch out an idea. Every design begins sketched out on paper. Just like you're doing right there. Step number two is to make a model. From sketching to sculpting, the design takes shape. It looks like they make their sculptures much larger than the final piece. Step three is to resize the model. The designer must transfer the larger scale design to an exact sized master model. Then finally, it is polished. Oh my goodness, this is like wild to me. They do all their engraving by hand. That was a really, really nice pit stop. Very. Gotta say, the grounds were beautiful. It made us think of the Precious Moments Chapel in Missouri, just like this is somebody's pride and joy. This is like their complete big baby, this business. They love it and um, totally like above and beyond and just extra love and care. It was just beautiful. Like you really could just sit there for a long time outside on like their porch or under one of their gazebos and just like pack a picnic. They had picnic tables. If, if you're someone like me who's grown up here in South Texas, it was really cool to see how I got started and uh, parts of what made it become so popular and successful. I would say as a local, it's a definite, you gotta do it. I would say if you're driving I-10 and you like little museums or you wanna learn about how jewelry is made, or just a neat kind of autobiography on a World War II veteran, it's also worth the stop because yeah. it's three minutes off of I-10, not even a detour. Yeah, and it's totally free. Yeah. Unless you're like, gonna buy a lot of jewelry. Start yeah. shopping, then it's this. <laughs> Then it does add up. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'd say totally worth the stop. Yes, yes, definitely. We just pulled into our driveway. It's been 15 days on the road. What is the odometer saying? 3,080 miles. Um, That's over 7,000 feet of elevation, not counting the bike ride. That was like another 3,000, I'm sure. <laughs> and we're home. Can you say we're back, Carly? Yeah.